The Prime Minister arrived this morning at Medang's Divine Word University to see improved infrastructure at the Institute. Amongst the changes was the launching of a new online learning program that will be offered by the university. The launching was witnessed by staff and students from the university, including members of the community around Medang province. <laughs> Prime Minister Peter O'Neill's speech contained key outlines of the government's agendas on health, education and infrastructure. Today, he attributed the government's MEM task to fix these priority areas, especially infrastructure, to create more employment when investors pour in to invest their money in Papua New Guinea. Yes, and uh, we are appealing to all the leaders and the other universities to start uh, working together. And I know that the uh, vice chancellors of the universities speak to each other. And hopefully uh, they can all come and learn from Divine World University. And how we can uh, uh, also encourage uh, online learning to not only those who are studying on campus, but more so those who are studying in remote parts of our country. He has called on the heads of higher institutions to come together and create partnerships with businesses to improve their facilities and infrastructure. The government's stance for education was evident today. O'Neill opened the new academic building and inspected the new clinic that was donated to the university, replacing the old one. He then inspected new university houses that were built with support funding from the government. Uh, we are here witnessing uh, the development of staff houses for the Divine World University staff, uh, a partnership with our public investment program from the government. His other visits were also to the Modilon Hospital's TB facility and eye care centre. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Medang.